We're back with the 6300 on the workbench again. Why is it on the workbench? Well, there's one last thing that I've never actually put in this machine before. It has a bus correction, it has the VGA, it has Ethernet, it has sound, it has compact flash, it has, yes, XTIDE, but yes, it doesn't have a 8087 in it. Now, like, okay, for the most part, who needs one, right? It's like there's not a lot of software that uh, takes advantage of the 8087. And, uh, yeah, and that's why I never <laughs> figured to get one before. However, I did get one. And I, this is uh, interesting. This came very quickly, actually, from China. And I don't know if you can see it very well, but, I mean, this thing is very clean that it looks like it's never really been installed before and uh yeah i did a uh, you know alcohol on it and nothing's wiping off so that is it seems to be a genuine article and it was uh, you know not that bad and it wasn't that bad shipped so um yes <laughs> you you've seen why i'm going to be putting this in because of the title of the video um but you know it's just Popping it in the socket there and configuring one, uh, yeah, one uh, dip switch right there that you have the 87 Math Pro processor installed, and that is number five right there, switching the position. So I'm going to go on and do that, and uh, yeah, I'm not going to be belabor this. <laughs> You'll see me with uh, the machine booted up. The machine is back where it should be. Not on the bench, although it's been on the bench for so long now. But, and I didn't want this video to be an extenuation, ex extenuation, an extension of um, the video that I just put out. Nobody watches that. Um, but it's just getting the maximum memory of it, too. I mean, there, there's still a part in this video that I, you know, that's my main goal for this video that I want to show you. But, um, and you've seen it in the title, yes. But now this thing has 128 UMB all the time. No uh, expansion memory, expanded memory. Uh, it's fine. Uh, Windows kept freezing with it. I think it was due to a conflict within the C1000 range um, with the uh, XT IDE controller in it. I believe that's the problem. Um, with the, with the, I got some extra chips with the, with this system because the RAM card, there are two different chips. It's like reading the manual and all the documentation is very helpful. So now I have it set to use D thousand to E F F F F F E F F F to get 128 K of UMB. So, and the 8087s in there. It's working. Um, I will show you that later. But as it is, let's see what we have here. One, two, three, and number one, two, three, four. Okay, yeah. Let's turn it on. Eighty eighty seven. Not necessarily, uh... Okay, and this... One, two, three, four... Oof, yep, sorry about that. Uh, it's a bit, that's very noisy, the sound card. Um, all of these memory counts are very different now. I mean, it says load everything but EMS and sound. There's no EMS to do anyway right now, but like I said, it has 551 and then 501 with network all already, you know, completely uh, loaded. But no, we have 560, 564. So if I do this, we could clear memory, 128K of UMB all the time on every single uh, version of this, on every single permutation of the... Um, you know, whatever one that you pick in that list. So I'm going to have to take some of those lists down because it really doesn't make a difference at this point. 
and I will show you some of this stuff is kind of uh, kind of neat on that. Um, so we're still. I mean, it does. You know, it takes a while to boot, but as we see here, with the net not totally loaded up, we have 128. We have 96 k used. Our largest executable size is 590, and that's with everything loaded which is pretty cool, 96k of UMB use of 128. Now if we go um, totally start up the network, I don't know why it doesn't start up the service. I mean, net start is part of the boot process. It used to not be that uh, way. It used to just ask me for a username and password when it booted up every time, but whatever. It's a small price to pay. Small, you know, it's not... It's not really important, but we have 121k of upper used, and we still have 564k of a of a program size, which is a lot. I mean, there and there is a lot on there. It's the the C is on, the network's on. Um, yeah, yeah. So we're you know I said we're loading it up at 128k. You know that's in the upper memory now, and if this was only 64k. I mean, we have what is that? Um, 764, 57, you know, 57k is going to be used in the lower, in the conventional at that point. Uh, no, it's, it's not because it's continuous blocks too. So it's that might not even be all that great. So anyway, at this point, this is a funny thing. You know, Windows, you know, we're not going to have. Um, you know, LIM or expanded memory. But you know what? It it I I tried this and I loaded it up with like six applications, like Reversi, Solitaire, uh, File Manager, whatever I can you know run on this. It took about six programs to say it ran out of conventional memory. You know, which is completely fine. That's completely fine with me. So yeah. And the mouse is loaded. And now, with everything loaded on here, and actually, this is a much nicer picture, too. That is, and it's, a, it's at 256. Um, but yeah, there's no distortion on this anymore, which is great. Uh, but, and this is another great thing. We now have the CD ROM drive I can run in Windows, there's enough of memory I can run. Network. I have a graphical interface of dragging and dropping my network drive stuff in Windows and File Manager if I really needed to, if I don't want to do a, you know, the copy. Although, reading it for the first time is, uh, that does take a little while. It's not a speed demon, but, you know, I would never think of getting my network drives and the CD-ROM drive made available in Windows, which is, uh, you know, that's uh, just a interesting thing to have there. And at this point, we have File Manager, we have did no expanded memory, but we still have 309k of free. Fine. That is fine with me. And yeah, like I said, nothing freezes now. That must have been, you know, with the... Uh, Ah, expanded memory. Now, for something that was going to be like the highlight of this, which it is, let's play some Wolf 3D. Wolfenstein 3D. Um, if you've seen the, like, the, I'm going to have a link to uh, the forum the VC Fed forum where there's like some of these uh, modified Wolfenstein to run on an 8086, 8088 class machine. And you know, that, that forum's there. There's a link. That link doesn't work anymore. There's another link um, with able to run on a V20 and an 8087. Well, we'll try that too. But, but that link doesn't work either. I will give a uh, link to that 
forum, and I will give a link to those files. Um, those files are still on the internet, thanks to the Wayback Machine. So if you uh, you know go on that on the Wayback Machine and and go to that page back uh, three four years ago, you'll find it. But I will have a direct link in the uh, description uh, to those files. So let's start off with okay spoilers. One that does work. Wolf eighty eighty six right. Oh, uh, okay. I ran Windows. I'm gonna I'm gonna quit this actually. Ah, uh, that's not a good way to show it off. We do have sound. No, it's not supposed to look like that. I think the Windows driver actually screwed something screws something up. And now it's gonna just show a red screen. Yeah, it does. Now it used to it used to not do that. I used to get back to the prompt. Um uh, but anyway, it's it's a weirdness. It's just a weirdness. Um at this point we can load everything but network. My max RAM actually doesn't <laughs> do max RAM anymore. I was trying to do EMS. There's no EMS. And we're at 589. 1K less than without the network running or the first part of the... You know, there's... That's only using 26K. Everything else that I'm loading up on everything is going into UMB. So there's not really much of a... an advantage to that. Take two. Yeah, that looks nicer. So EMS, EMS actually did show up in this, uh, mouse is there, press any key. I will go through this again. No. And this is definitely the 8086, so... Now I adjusted the controls, so like my shooting is ALT now, because the ALT key is there. Space is still open the doors. And 5 is back, because the inverted T is not an inverted T. So, yeah, um, let's see, new game. This is just to show, I don't, yeah, I'm not going to be, <laughs> I don't think I would be playing anything harder on this, this I mean, not that I'm actually going to be playing this game on this machine. That was fast. I think that that was faster than uh, I've ever seen it. Maybe there was something with the, the LIM that screwed. <laughs> the line here. Actually, this is actually a... I am... I think this is actually running running better than I, I played with it with the expanded memory. I haven't played this without expanded memory before. I don't know why it uh, would be better. Let's, let's do a change view. Arrows. You, oh, let's make it too bigger. So I'm not exactly sure who uh, made this port that actually runs on a that doesn't require 286.
I need to get a tripod, and you know it. Oh, oh, and this keyboard, I don't think it has great, like, end, <laughs> end key rollover or whatever. Yeah, it doesn't. Maybe it has two keys or something. But, yes. It's not the most pleasurable of experiences. But, it does run. So anyway. And now I'm going to be brought back to a red screen. I'm sure that maybe I should just reboot it right now. Yeah. So it used to uh, yeah, not do that. I guess I went to the prompt. Okay. So that was the 8087 version. Or is the 8086 version. And we have also, which is down below, somebody made 8087, and that's the reason why I got that processor, that co-processor, V20. And so it's, it has like V20, additional instructions that it can make use of. However, however, yep, there we go. I don't know. I'm not exactly sure. This thing, this executable does, did actually work in DOSBox. Um, but if anybody has any, you know, it's down in the in the description, like I said, Oh, the other thing, too. Uh, the version of Wolfenstein makes a difference. Um, where did I get it? It's going to be down in the description. I'm not going to do a full link because I think it might be a, a gray area of what version it is because it's a full version. Um, and if, if you can't use it on a... Uh, you can't use these on the shareware version. That just doesn't work. Um, so I'll just have the website name that I got it from. I'm not going to have a direct link, but you'll be able to find it. And then using these two uh, modded executables, hi, yeah, you should be able to get something up and running. And if you do get the 887 version running, yeah, uh, let me know how you did it. Uh, on maybe it's just a machine. I don't. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking now because there's not really anything to focus on. And everything is just going to get out of focus. So with that, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, man, this whole section was 16 minutes non-stop. And I do not do edits, as you know. So with that, uh, hope you enjoyed. Take care.